Hey guys, Scarlett here, the creator of Wonder Curl. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you about my hair. My hair. So the reason why I wanted to do this video and just basically talk about my hair is just to give you some tips and ideas about um, how my hair care routine. It has changed a little bit over the years and now that my hair is, I would say, completely, um, it's virgin hair and there's no chemicals in it. I don't color my hair. I don't, um, of course, I don't relax my hair and I use very little heat. Um, as far as like straightening my hair, I dry my hair under a hooded dryer, as you guys know that I do use that kind of heat, but I don't use extreme heat on my hair and I've colored my hair, not colored, I straightened my hair um, three times in the last four years, three, four times, three, four times, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so my hair is pretty much, this is, this is my natural hair except what you're seeing right now is um the the result of a braid out uh but um my hair is if you're into typing would be considered type 3c where the curls and i will you can probably see at the bottom the ends so type 3c curls they say generally has, here's, here's a good one. It has the curl, like the size of a pencil eraser. And this is pretty much like a pencil eraser. Like this is almost exactly a pencil eraser, maybe a little bit smaller than a pencil eraser, but that would be considered type three C. Um, but hair typing to me, is not the most important? thing to know about your hair. What you should be paying attention to is your porosity, how your hair absorbs moisture, water, products. Um, for me, my hair is a mixture of both um, medium porosity and high porosity. Um, high porosity, low porosity. Medium porosity, low porosity. My hair is medium and low porosity. It used to be high porosity when I colored it, but now that I no longer color it, it is medium and low. It's medium, like around here. It's like the parameter of my hair in the very back. And then the center part here, that part is the is low porosity. So when, when I look at my hair and to understand um, how one part is medium and the other part is low porosity, how do I get to that conclusion? Um, when I am in the shower and I'm wetting my hair, I'll notice that the very front of my hair will get wet faster. Um, and then it retains the water a little bit longer. Like it just, not, and I wouldn't say it retains the water, but it, it curls, it forms curls easily. And those curls stay defined and clumped. Whereas the center part of my hair, um, it tends to frizz faster. It's a lot thicker. It feels coarser to the touch and it takes longer for it to actually get wet. Like I have to sit under the shower for a few minutes um, for this part of my hair, the very back, the middle part to get wet. And then it it doesn't stay defined as long. And, and so it starts to frizz and the curls, the, the strands separate. So that's how I determine like, okay, this part is low porosity. The rest of my hair is medium porosity. Um, now that I know that part, it's going to determine how I'm going to use my products. And I am going to, my, my next wash day, I will be recording a detailed video about how I apply the products to my hair because believe it or not, this is um, a day eight wash and go. Or nine, day eight or nine. I'm, I'm overdue for a wash, but my hair actually isn't dry. My hair, um, last night, I just missed my hair. It was a wash and go, and so I missed my hair. And then um, very lightly so that my hair wasn't wet or soaking wet, but just I missed it just enough to make the hair a little bit more malleable. And then I put it into four braids, one, two, three, four. 
and then the next day today I took my braids out and this is the result so this is basically one of the ways that um, I like to refresh my hair but I have been able to get a good amount of days without having to re-wet or refresh my hair um, and what I've learned with especially low porosity hair is you want to have your hair sopping sopping wet i was never a fan of sopping wet hair i hate the idea of water dripping all over me it's all on my shoulders it's getting my t-shirt wet i hate it but <laughs> it works it so works and the last couple times and i have done this with my hair where i applied the product i put pudding jelly water a little bit more pudding a little bit more jelly a little bit more water and i work the products into my hair incrementally section by section understanding each section of my hair is going to be uh unique not every section of my hair is going to need as much product or as much water it's really the center part of my hair that needs the most work but um so that is how I apply the products. As far as my hair care routine goes, um, I usually wash my hair once a week. Um, I'm overdue, like I said, I'm like two days overdue to wash my hair. And I was like, ah, I'll just do it tomorrow. And because I've waited extra days, I am going to do a um, shampoo. So I'm going to use my charcoal shampoo bar to just clean my hair, clean my scalp, remove any dust particles, debris that ends up in your hair. Um, and then I'm gonna do a deep conditioning treatment. I haven't done a deep conditioning treatment in almost a month. So I am due for a deep conditioning treatment. And then I'll probably, I don't know which products I'm gonna use for my um, hair, but I'll do a deep conditioning treatment maybe every other week to once a month. And I've been trying to stay consistent with doing more deep conditioning treatments. Um, and when I'm not shampooing with the charcoal shampoo bar, I will use the detoxifying clay cleanser, which is a three in one. So it detangles, cleanses, and conditions your hair in one. So I'll use that. Rinse my hair out. So you want to make sure that you are working with clean, fresh, hair every time before you apply your stylers and moisturizers your leave-ins in your hair i've seen in some articles where they tell you to like leave a little bit of the conditioner in your hair please don't do that that's how you end up with flaking and those white balls in your hair because that conditioner is meant to be rinsed out and then if you put a gel on it and some i've heard uh, people say that with some of the um, puddings they also get that reaction so you don't want to do that don't do that um yeah and it's all about being consistent paying attention to your hair understanding what your hair needs and what parts your hair needs um i say of course staying away from hair myths that are dangerous to our hair like i don't put anything on my scalp my scalp is fine if i add stuff to my scalp it's only going to make it worse i think so I don't, aside from shampoo and conditioner, I don't apply anything directly to my scalp. I like to leave my scalp clean and free of anything as much as possible. Um, and then, yeah, just keep your hair clean and moisturize. Moisture, moisture, moisture. So those are my tips. I hope that this helps you. I hope this helps you. Tell me if it helps. So if you like it, and subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying these tips that I'm giving you and I hope that they are helping you to grow your own healthy hair. All right guys, thank you so much. Bye.